Welcome to Easy Learning, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics and our topic for today is linear motion and our subtopic for today is going to be on speed. So we are going to look at how we calculate speed, what is the formula that we use and then we are going to do a few questions and see how we can be able to use the formula to solve different situations. So displacement uh, between two points is the length of the path joining them, while displacement is the distance in a specified direction. So when we talk about speed, now it's the rate of change of distance in, uh, in relation to time. And we shall use the SI unit is meter per second, although you notice most of the questions that you're given are in kilometers per hour. So sometimes you may be required because of the mixed uh, unit, you may be required to change from one unit to the other. Velocity is speed in a specified direction or rate, rate of change of displacement with time. We are going to look later at um, velocity and also acceleration, which is um, the rate of change of velocity with time. And you look at how also we are able to use uh, velocity and acceleration in different situations. So for you to be able to calculate average speed, normally we know that speed is equal to distance over time. So, but if you want to calculate the average speed, you need to add all the distance that was covered and then all the time that was taken and then you do the subtraction. Remember, we said you have to convert between meters per second to kilometers per hour or kilometers per hour to meters per second. Remember, one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters and one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. So we are going to be using this uh, also in our conversion so that we can be able to figure it out. So let's do a few examples. So a man walks for 40 minutes, so we have time 1, we put it at T1, is 40, and it's 40 minutes at 60 kilometers per hour. So speed 1 is going to be 60 kilometers per hour. So you notice there is a mix-up of units here. And then travels for 2 hours, so time 2 will be 2 hours. Uh, in a minibus at 80 kilometers, so speed 2 will be 80 kilometers per hour. Finally, it travels by bus for one hour, uh, so time 3 is going to be one hour. At 60 kilometers per hour, so speed 3 is 60 kilometers per hour. Find a speed for the whole journey. So we said the formula for the average speed is going to be uh, total distance over total time taken. So the first thing we'll do is to look for the total distance. So we can do so by adding all the distance, but remember in our question you don't have distance. So we have to calculate so distance is equals to time times speed as long as the units are in the same unit. So when you look at distance one, so you call it distance one is equals to the time taken was 40 minutes times the speed was 60 kilometers per hour. Remember this calculation cannot occur because there is a, a mix up of units. So we need to change our 40 minutes to seconds. We know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. We need to change it to one hour, that is. And one second is equal to uh, 60 times 60. Uh, one hour, that is, sorry. One hour is equal to 60 times 60 seconds. So we want to change our minutes to sec uh, to hours, which is one hour is equals to 60 minutes. 
So what about our 40 minutes? So that is going to be 1 times 4 divided by 60, 40. So by 2, 2, by 2, 3. So it's going to be 2 over 3 hours. So if you want to calculate the distance, it will be now time, which is 2 over 3, times the distance, which is 60. So by 3, 1, by 3, 20, it becomes 40 kilometers. We look for distance 2, which is going to be time 2, which is 2 hours, times speed 2, which is 80 kilometers per hour. So this is going to give us 160 kilometers. And then distance 3, remember the hours and hours cancel, that's why it's left in uh, kilometers. So distance 3 is going to be time, which is 1 hour times 60 kilometers per hour. So the units are good. So this is going to give us 60 kilometers. So the total distance is going to be 40 plus 60 plus 160, which gives us 260 kilometers. So next is total time, which is going to be the total time taken we had 2 over 3 hours plus 2 hours plus 1 hour which is going to give us a uh, 3 2 over 3 hours or basically 11 over 3 hours so next now is the average speed which is going to be the total distance which we have said is 260 over the total time, which is 11 over 3 hours, this is the same as 260, divide by 11 over 3, which is 260 times 3 over 11. So uh, 260 times 11 gives us 2,860, two divide by 3. Um, so sorry, it's 260 times 3, which is 780, divided by 11, which gives us 70.91. And it is kilometers per hour. So this is your final answer. So I hope you have been able to see how we calculated that. Let's do one more question. So Juma cycled for time one is going to be two and a half hours to Mula Trading Center, which is distance one, 30 kilometers away from home. He then took his business van and drove at an average, so speed two, because from this we can get speed one, speed two of 80 kilometers per hour to a town distance to 180 kilometers away and back to Mura. So he took his business, he drove an average speed of 80 kilometers uh, to that town away and then back. So speed 3 will be still 80 kilometers and distance 3 will be still 180 because he went back. He finally cycled home. He then took his business van and drove at an average speed uh, to a town, 80 kilometers. So he finally cycled home at an average speed. So speed four is 15 kilometers per hour. Uh, find the average speed of the old gen. So this, is, this means that we need to get the total distance Of our total time just like we did before so the time taken so Juma cycled for these hours to Mula so we have 
um, home to Mola, which is 30 kilometers away. So we can get the distance for that. So the distance you have already been given, which is 30 kilometers. And then he took his business van and drove at an average speed of 80 kilometers to a town. So this is uh, uh, 180 kilometers to a town. We can call this town A and back to Mula. So once again, he covered another 180 up to Mula. And then he cycled home at an average speed of 15 kilometers per hour. So he cycled back again, 30 kilometers. So find the average. So we have distances. Actually, we have distances for all uh, the, the journey that he underwent. So this was um, 30 kilometers plus 180 plus 180 plus 30. So this gives us 180 plus 180 plus 60 which will give us 420 and then we are told that let's look at the time that we used in this in the first step we used two and a half hours in the second um he he went for 180 kilometers at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour so we can get the time remember speed is equals to distance over time so we have the speed, which is 80 kilometers per hour, and distance is 180 kilometers. So our time taken is going to be 180 divided by 80, which is going to, to end up being 2.25 hours. So this is the same as, so 25 divided by 60 gives us Uh, two, uh, five over 12 hours. Uh, and then for the second, uh, so now we have two, five over 12, and then the same two, five over 12, since it was the same speed. And finally, the return is cycled back at an average speed of 15 kilometers per hour. So this was two and a half hours. So let's add. So we have two and a half plus two and a half plus two, five over 12 plus two, five over 12. So this is going to give us 9.83 uh, hours or, uh, or you can say, so this is uh, five over two plus five over two plus uh, this is 20, 29 over 12 plus 29 over 12. You can do the fractions in this case. So the LCM of 2 and 12 is going to be 12. So 12 divided by 2, that is 6. 6 times 5, 30 plus 12 divided by 2, still 30. Then this is going to be 29 plus 29. So this is going to give us 60 plus 29 plus 29, which is going to be 118 divided by 12. So 118, if you divide that by 12, you get 9.83. So this is what you've gotten as your hours, 18, 118 over 12 hours. So this is 420 divided by 118 over 12. So this is the same as 420 times 12 divided by 118. So 420 times 12 gives us 5,040. If you divide that by 118, you get 42.71. And this is going to be kilometers per hour. So that brings us to the end. Basically, when you're given such a question, make sure you get the total time taken all around the journey and also the total distance and then you do the division. So find more revision questions on speed and average speed on the app and also more notes on the same. See you in the next lesson.